Hey everyone, Austin here with Computer Upgrade King. Welcome to our product overview and teardown for the Asus Pro Art Studio Book Pro W700G3T-XH77. This laptop is great for designers, architects, and animators. It features a 17-inch 1920 by 1200 resolution Pantone calibrated display covering 97% of the DCI-P3 color space. This laptop is also capable of opening to 180 degrees to easily share your designs with colleagues or friends. On top of that, it comes packed with an RTX 3000 Quadro, which is perfect for the entry-level professional or creator at home or on the go. Some other notable specs for our creators and professionals out there include the Intel i7-9750H, the capability for upgrading to 64 gigabytes of RAM, and multiple storage upgrade options make this the perfect choice for anybody looking for horsepower on the go. A turquoise gray finish with rose goes highlights give the StudioBook Pro 17 an understated sophisticated feel. Now let's get into the teardown. So here we have the Asus W700 laptop itself, that turquoise gray finish on the bottom here. You're gonna see all these screws. There should be 11 total. Let's count them out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then to get these out, you're just gonna need a small bit Phillips head screwdriver. And of course you're gonna need this little guitar pick. Let's go ahead and get these screws out. Always important to note that when you're taking out these screws, you're going to want to put them in the same pattern that you've taken them out. For this laptop in particular, there's three different screw lengths. So if you put the wrong screw in the wrong hole, you're going to end up pressing up. So in the front here, all four of these are short. And the medium length screw is going to go in all five of these locations. And finally, the longest screw is just going to go in these two back. And again, make sure you use the correct screws or you will mess up the laptop. Then get your guitar pick, start on the front of the laptop. A little hard, of course, to get that. Guitar pick started. Definitely start it there. For this one, it's pretty simple. Once you get that popped, it comes off really easily. That's a thermal pad, and that's for the M.2 drive to keep that nice and cool. So now that the laptop is all open and we're ready to start working, the first thing we're gonna do is unplug the battery. So get your guitar pick, pry up your battery connection up and out of the way. Be careful with that little metal slider, it will break easy. Then you'll see here we've got the upgrades we're gonna do. We're gonna do a two terabyte, replacing a one terabyte. And then we're going to take the 16 gig stick out and put two 16s in to give us 32 gigs total. And we're going to go ahead and start with the memory. So the first thing you want to do is take your pick. There's these little metal tabs on each side. You're just going to pry those. It'll pop right up to 30, 45 degree angle, pour it straight out. You'll notice that it has a little notch there in the middle, which lines up with a little like uh, key in the slot. It's the same thing for when you're putting the stick back in, of course. That's it wrong. So you're going to line up the notch and the key. Stick it in at a 30 to 45 degree angle until boom. And then clip it down. Make sure your clips are all nice. And then we're going to go ahead onto the second stick here. Again, line up the notch to the key. 45 degree angle, 30 degree angle, and then snap it down. Next thing we're going to do is upgrade the M.2. You just got to take out the one screw here. It's nothing too crazy, very simple. So once you take the screw out, this thing pops up to 30, 45 degree angle. You just pull it straight out. And just like the memory, you'll see it's notched and it's keyed in the slot. So when we go and we take our new two terabyte drive here, we just got to find the notch and the key and stick it in a 30, 45 degree angle. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And press it down and then secure it with a screw. And we're going to go ahead and talk about some other stuff that's inside here. So what you're going to see, that's your CPU right there. This is your GPU. And you can tell because it has these extra cooling, that's for the GPU memory. Heat pipes are, they're all copper, but they're painted. Uh, and you've got two silent fans. Really nice fans, really nice fans, really quiet laptop. And it's got a soldered on Wi-Fi, so that's not upgradable. So you're going to be stuck with AC. And then right before you finish, plug your battery back in. Put the little metal slide back in place. Lock that in. And then grab the bottom of your laptop. And again, you can line up your pad. And that's going to go down about two. So just flip it over. 
put it down. And remember we have different screw sizes again for this when we're putting it back together. So we're gonna start with the long screws. Just get those out of the way. Just the two that go at the back of the laptop there. Then we're gonna get our medium screws. All five medium screws as shown here. And finally, short screws. All that's left at this point, so just fill out your front row with your short screws. Now that pretty much completes the entire upgrade. Et voila, and there's the laptop. We are complete, ready to go. Upgraded laptop, just needs to get loaded and then it can get shipped. If you're looking for a different configuration or want to personalize your machine, check out our extensive customization options at our website, www.cukusa.com. Also, be sure to check out the product link in the description and leave a comment down below if you have any questions for us here at Computer Upgrade King. This has been Austin, signing off for today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for future product teardowns and reviews.